Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's Black Ops Cold War video. Guys, this past weekend was absolutely crazy with double XP. Today, it's finally over. Well, not finally. It's unfortunately over, but I got a lot done over the weekend. So let me go ahead and show you. First of all, SMGs were already diamonds. Then I got the LMGs diamond. And then if you take a look at this class, the RPG, the... Where is that? The combat knife, the thumper... And the Sigma, I got all the level 30. Now, obviously, I didn't get those gold or diamond, uh, but I didn't. And then the other gun I'm working on is the M16. I didn't like work to get these diamond because they're like really hard guns to use. And so I just, you know, yesterday, Sunday, just the whole day for our six hour stream. And then a little bit later in the night, like without streaming, we just played zombies and just we just kept getting around 10 and X filling, just using these guns only to get them to level 30. So now when I do get to these guns eventually, it'll be a little bit easier. The reason I say a little bit easier is because the hardest part I have found about the camo grind besides like the point blank kills for the SMGs and then like the hidden behind cover kills for everything else, the hardest part is actually getting your gun to a high enough level. Like for instance, now that I have the Thumper, the Combat Knife, the RPG and Sigma, like all level 30, even though yeah, their camos are gonna be hard to get still, at least they're level 30, so I can start working on all the camos all at once. I don't have to, like for instance, like I'm pretty sure the last set of camos is double kills. I can start those literally immediately when I actually start doing it. And all I had to do was to sit in a zombies game with my friends and we just had a good time. So I didn't waste any time, I don't feel like. And like I said, I mean, I got the LMG's diamond, I got the SMG's diamond, and now I'm working on the M16. Now for the M16, I have all my long shots I have to do. I got Cherry Blossom. This one I found is such an easy thing to do now. And then this is the hardest one. Get 50 kills with someone taking cover from you. Taking cover from you. Thankfully though, it's not like point blank where you gotta get 75. But this like isn't necessarily a hard challenge. It's just that you have to camp really hard. And then the same thing with the long shots. You just have to camp really, camp really hard to get it, which I don't really like to do, but you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Alrighty, after a little bit of crowd surfing, we did get Nuketown Domination, which is exactly what we want. Now, guys, I so I know this video is going up at 6, so I know like the update's already happening, but for me, it is 11.55, so just an hour before the playlist update's supposed to happen where they take away our double XP, I am like literally begging that they keep Domination, or they keep Nuketown 24-7. Now, uh, I think it was Block A and Scary, or whoever, I, one of those two, or both of them, had a really good point. Uh, even if they do take away the Newtown playlist, like with all us, us six in the lobby and there's not that many maps in this game yet, then we can just hop into a domination, like even hardcore domination, and just crowd surf for Newtown. So it's not actually that, not that big of a deal, but I still want it. Now this right here is the worst. This is where the whole weekend stream, I was just sitting here with the LMGs, especially that last LMG, the M60 is the worst, and just sitting here trying to get my, uh, my enemy behind cover challenges and it's so bad i do also have to get long shots which is tough here we go that guy should count if i kill him which i can't even kill him because i suck at video games but that's okay i do have the shotgun on my back only because i already have the rocket launchers level 30 and i don't actually like even want to get the camos for those yet i feel like when i'm ready to get those camos now that i have them level 30 when i feel like i'm ready to get those camos done i feel like i'm just gonna have to like literally only use those like not have them on my back and just get passive kills i feel like i'm gonna have to like really just go for it so that's why i'm just gonna go ahead and put the shotgun on my back because even though the, yeah the shotgun's easy it's not gonna be like that much of a grind i just want to you know if i ever get into a situation where i can swap to the shotgun i will especially with this m16 being a burst uh i know it's like super good but i super suck with it how did that guy just keep shooting me i hurt the tournament over the weekend was a lot of fun and i want you guys to know i'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a little bit of intel if you guys follow me on twitter you already know but we are working on we're gonna find figure out a way to make it happen we're working on doing a 2v2 search and destroy league now when that's happening is what's like undecided yet we're working on trying to figure out prizes for that and then figuring out the date when we actually want to start it but just know the plan is to start it soon so you're going to want to join the discord it's in the link in the description down below you're also going to follow me on twitter and stay connected here because this is where you're going to get all your information this is me my discord my twitter my youtube channel this is where we're going to get all the information if you want to be a part of it we're going to figure this out right here's where the shotgun comes into play this guy i probably should have killed him actually with the m16 to get my cover kill but I have the field max on right now because I was doing that cherry blossom challenge. And people were saying the jammer works, but I swear I was not getting it to work. So, but I did just switch to the jammer. Now that I have cherry blossom, I found I was watching uh, an exclusive ace video. And he confirms that ninja doesn't even help you against field mics. Like it's supposed to. 
but it doesn't i don't know if ghost does or not like i didn't i maybe he said in the rest of the video i didn't watch like the last minute of it but i do run ghost and ninja and he confirmed he showed it that it look at this guy oh wait i need to actually kill this guy in the window what am i doing running away from him that would have been my kill that would have been my behind cover kill i'm so dumb i'm so dumb for that see i have the shotgun on my back and i want to use it i hope that this fella's still up here but yeah he confirmed that ninja doesn't actually help against field max so that's why i'm gonna start running jammers just because you know even though obviously a jammer doesn't cover the whole map it does cover look at this like i'm sitting up here and now no one's there but when i'm moving around someone's up there what sucks is are not sucks what i was gonna point out oh here we go that that contract right yeah there we go perfect what um uh, what's crazy is thankfully i want to give you guys my biggest tip so far that i've had this is my first year going for the mastery camo my biggest tip i can give you is forget about your combat record forget about your win loss ratio forget about your kd literally your kd and your win loss ratio are done they're gone for my win loss ratio for the first time ever right now is currently negative i have a 0.9 win loss ratio now that has a lot to do with rage quitting happening when i play solo i do a lot of rage quitting when i play solo because as you guys can imagine especially if you're doing this with me it's super annoying especially right there when you have two guys show up for the head the challenge i could have got two right there i got so excited that i choked it you know what i'm saying so there's a lot of rage quitting that happens when i'm by myself how does what gun is he using the stoner oh my goodness oh there was two guys in there still here we go got you and then i know based off your kill cam your friend is somewhere in this room i don't know though let me get a oh oh you know i was about to call my jammer i'm glad i didn't i didn't see the score 95 to 79 oh here we go peek again yes oh my goodness this is it this is what i need i just need this guy i hate right here when i get in the spot and someone calls an apo i gotta switch the corner i'm in hope i can get one more kill before the round ends all right this is a nice side though for long shots and also i'm pretty sure that if i can somehow manage to like get kills of someone sitting in the garage like when i'm going for my long shots because i need long shots as well i'm pretty sure that these count as people behind cover like when they're in the doorway right here but i'm not 100 percent sure on that i wonder if i should you know what actually i should go capture b and then i can just wait for people to head glitch b right what are you doing here get out of my spot i got a counter spy plane i am getting destroyed by kill streaks the first week of this game coming out i thought that the new score streak system was actually kind of cool i i completely despise it now the score streak system is super lame because literally every second half of domination is just filled with helicopters napalm strikes everything because people get score streaks every game like if you don't get a short streak, if you don't get all your score streaks in this new score streak system like 99.9 percent .9 of your games then like i don't I, I honestly don't know how like literally everyone gets them there we go. that was a nice long shot i'm just getting destroyed now here's the problem with going for long shots in this most common spot is everyone is doing it so it's heavily contested all right here losing bravo i need this kill i need to kill this guy because it'll count as someone taking cover never mind my teammate got him wait there was a bad guy are you kidding me all right here we go they're they're on b i seen that guy in the window but i gotta kill this guy first are you kidding me i finally got to the spot i wanted this is the spot when they have b you can shoot at them in the right here this guy in the window has no idea there's no way i was just about to finally challenge the guy in the window and a kill streak kills me because we're playing the new score streak system where kill streaks are everywhere and they apparently they kill you through walls too let's see is this guy here he is here and i suck oh my goodness not as bad as him though does the jammer actually destroy like enemies like not only does it block their like field mics but does it also like actually destroy them like deletes them off the map that'd be kind of cool I, I think it does but i'm not 100 percent sure i'm just gonna sit here i can't get b no one's even on b this is so right here this is what i was saying in the other day video doing this with the team of six is so much easier because like i had gills i had scary tig block a uh like that i know for sure whoever, whoever else i miss like I, we put we were playing with worst junior we were playing with luca but i'm saying like those uh skills are gills scary block a and tig help me hardcore with the challenge by actually like calling out for me finding people in spots like for instance like the top window and just calling them out not even attempting to kill them and just helping me out a ton come on please peek me he's not gonna peek me bro where are you at i just need you to peek me there we go that i think that counts i'm not 100 percent sure the worst part about this challenge the get people killed behind cover like right here that guy like do those count there's no way of knowing because there's no metal for it you know what i'm saying oh well that that way that's how you know it counts when you get the the camo challenge for it here we go this guy no i missed my first two bursts and then he shredded me the new garbage uh score streak system is the reason why i have to use air patrol and also like i don't want to use helicopter anyway because i don't want to be 
trying to get a challenge and then my helicopter take my own kill is that i have to be mad at my own helicopter so i just found it's just easier to run air patrol just kill oh dang it i was gonna switch my shotgun and slide around the corner thankfully my teammate just went hardcore right there and got that for us unfortunately i'm just sitting up here again it's super boring you should imagine i mean imagine this i'm sitting here streaming in this spot the whole stream and i had people watching me i had oh dude I almost forgot shout outs to lady rebel the virus and the eastern media channel for giving me some fat rage over this like weekend like between thanksgiving friday saturday and sunday Jeez louise dude they gave me the fattest rage over on theta dude that was like really awesome of them so i already thanked them i want to thank them again here in this video if you guys don't uh, already check everyone out there especially obviously the eastern media channel and twitter you should be doing that does that count right there what i just did to that guy I mean, he was taking cover, technically. I can't believe I missed that guy. That guy was taking cover. I don't know if that counts. Because, I mean, I did just see his feet. Who's even shooting at me right now? I have no idea. Is anyone in the... No one's in the window. Oh, this guy's right here. Okay. I'm just gonna... Are you gonna pop up somewhere? Are you gonna pop up? Oh, there you are. Oh, okay. I think a helicopter killed you. See, that's why I don't like, like my own helicopters. Because what I'm pretty sure happens with this challenge, they kill people behind cover, is when they're standing, like, next to a doorway or something, and, like... Not even just their head showing, but like part of their body, like only half their body is showing. I'm pretty sure that counts too. So like that kill on the bus that helicopter stole from me would have counted. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure we have this game in the bag, but just in case, I'm going to go hardcore in the paint and try to get B and then I'm going to die instantly. So now, oh yeah, we lost. We're losing this game unless I hop B right now. I got to help my teammates right here. I got to go hard. I got to go hard right here for the teammates. Here we go. No, I'm getting killed by the guy camping. So we're going to lose this game. You guys know how we roll, though. <laughs> My teammates saying you guys are trash. LOL. You guys know how we roll, though. We like to lose. We like to lose on this channel. We lose every single game we play, and we also usually go negative. I don't actually care, though. That's why I said at the beginning of this video, just forget about your combat record, especially if you're doing this solo. Now, if you're doing this with a team of six, you could potentially keep a good combat record. Kill-death ratio, win-loss ratio. Doing it solo, like how I do solo, like a little bit like off-stream sometimes. It's you're you're gonna have negative stuff, and that's just that's just life. It is okay. This is my score per minute average across the last ten games because, like I said, I am just camping, camping hardcore. That is gonna do it for today's video, guys. Last or this week, the G Fuel winner was Orion Sky, so congratulations to you, Orion. I already gave it to him by the time I'm recording this video. We're gonna find out by the time this video comes out. Obviously, the update will be here. I'll find out in about an hour after recording this if Newton 24/7 is here to stay or if they're going to make us crowd surf for it. I really hope not. If they do, I mean, it's not, like, terrible. What I need to do, honestly, is just get the combat knife done, the thumper, the RPG, and the Sigma. And once I get those done and out of the way, everything else is just... I mean, it's not necessarily easy, but it's much smoother sailing. But thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. If you want to have a chance in the G Fuel entry, the weekly G Fuel entry, all you have to do is like this video, screenshot it, post it in the Discord, in the G Fuel Weekly Giveaway channel, and I'll see you guys all later. Goodbye.